greetings one and all as we try and review everything written ever which is pretty impossible my name is Nick and we're looking at Bobby Bearing on the ZX Spectrum 48k published by The Edge in 1986 no not that person from U2 it's a game a bit like Spin Dizzy by Electric Dreams in the same year which also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64 you play a ball bearing yes called Bobby who lives in techno fear that's the land of the future made of steel and inhabited by things of steel. Here there's Bobby there, that circular thing. But basically, Bobby must rescue his four ball-bearing brothers that are somewhere in the meta planes and then guide them back home. So this is home, now we need to find them. Where are they? Let me know. Um, all the time, the time ticks down in the left there, starting at nine, so we could be playing this one for hours. Um, yes, these arrows um, direct us to where we need to um, get to. So first of all, we're trying to find uh, Barnaby, I think. That's what the uh, the name says there. 3D isometric, as you can see, a bit like graphics of Night Law. You have to get through these puzzles each time. There are magnets that stop you from getting certain places, but it's all about exploring, so you really need a map, which I have not got. What's this thing? Did you complete this game? Did you own this game? Let me know. I don't know any cheats for it, but uh, they probably wouldn't help me anyway, because it's all about finding your ball-bearing team. Barnaby. Where are you, Barnaby? Where are you? Yes. It moves a bit like Spin Dizzy. It's a bit like a combination of Spin Dizzy and Marble Madness. I've exited this, but it's cost me time. Um, yeah, spin, spin Busy, Spin Dizzy and Marble Madness just create this, a bit of a mixture. I think I prefer Spin Dizzy slightly, but this is warming to me. Right, let's get past this thing. Timing is everything. There we go, I've got it. So different colours, uh, looks like it's white cyan. I think sometimes it goes magenta, of green and purple. You can't pull off the edges like you can do in Spin Dizzy, so it's a bit more friendly in the gameplay that way round. And I've been crushed by a big cube. Oh dear. You won't get that in many games. Right, now someone's going to comment below about lots of games you get crushed by a big cube. I think uh, Bobby's wearing headphones, is he? He looks like he is. He looks a bit like Pac-Man, and I've timed that wrong again as he gets splatted. Don't get splatted. Ball bearings are quite strong, aren't they, normally? Shouldn't really be getting splatted on the floor, but this is a still land of the future. Uh, as realised in 1986. What's your favourite marble game? Let me know as I one day I'll get past this bit. Timing. Go, go, go. I've reviewed quite a few marbly sort of games now. I'm sure there's a few others I need to get to. Right, we're there. Good. Keep going, Bob. Where's Barnaby? Hmm, I'm, I'm getting a pattern here with these things. Right, a nice 3D engine here. A few games at the time uh, use something similar. Nice rolling mechanism. I like the way that there's features on the ball and they look like they're rotating rounds. So that's quite skillful to do. Have you ever been to Technophere? Sounds like a nightclub somewhere. Boom, boom. Right, uh, a lot of the map looks a bit the same, so you, you can get lost even with a map, I think. Let's just keep going right. Everything's going to be fine. Barnaby, where are you? Now, the story is, really, that um, Bobby and his brothers, the ball-bearing boys, uh, were told not to explore outside their home to the Meta Plains, and for a long time they, they didn't do that, because it's dangerous out here. But their dangerous cousin came to visit, who is a bad influence on everyone, and uh, he guided the brothers out here. Now the cousin's lost and the brothers are lost as well. And it's up to Bobby to rescue them. Um, once he's rescued his brothers, I think he does have to rescue his stupid cousin. Boom, boom. Right, we've still got plenty of time here. 8,300 and something. I'm guessing then the map must be huge and it takes quite a while to do it. If you have completed the game, if you're one of the chosen few that gave your life to it in the late 80s, then let me know. Oh, this is a bit different. Right, looks like uh, it's a slightly different um, graphic here, so maybe we're going in the right direction. I'm picking up good vibrations. It's giving me exultations. What's going on here? Right, there's an enemy ball going back and forward. I don't know who that is. It's not Barnaby, though. Oh, look. And we've got a little uh, air vent here that's blowing us up. Now, is that a clue for doing big jumping? 
Hang on a minute. This looks a bit like where we got stuck last time. This looks like a dead end. Right, let's go back. I can't jump over there, can no. That's where I got stuck last time. There's no way out there unless I quit for Q, and that will cost you time. So if you get stuck, hit Q, and look at the time go down as a penalty, and that'll put us there, right. That's not the way to go. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's something I need to be doing there. Question mark, right, so something needs to happen there. Maybe I can jump left and right up here, can I? No can't go up there. So it seems you can only go where there's arrows. Woo! Well, that's enough fun for that. Good old marble games. Um, it would be really clever if the balls are different colours to the background, but that's been really cruel because that's almost impossible to do on the Spectrum. Maybe the Spectrum next they can do that. Gameplay is quite good on this. A little bit addictive once you know where you're going to, but I really need to find one of the brothers, one of the bros. Let's bring the home team posse back. Oh, it's gone. It's gone red. Oh, I say red. It's looking a bit orange, doesn't it? Um, right now, where can we go through that hole? Yes. I'm not sure that's the correct way to go, but we're here. I think I'd be lost forever. Right, another one of these vent things. So perhaps we're supposed to use that to jump up to that other thing. Yeah, there's no other way left or right. Yeah, we need to get up there somehow by timing a jump. Right, it's, yeah. This is going to be annoying. Right, come on, Nick. You can do this thing. What's the timing here? That's not that timing. Big question mark again. How many goes is this going to take? Maybe I'm going to have to edit this. Wee, nope. Hmm. Uh, bear with me, folks. Bear with me, folks. We'll get this. It's another. It's, an, it's another bit of classic gameplay from Nick again. Uh. Will this make any highlights real for the whole of YouTube? Um, it's unlikely. Right, maybe you can't do right. I'll get this. I'll get this god nabbit. No. Duh. Right, this is frustrating city. Right, roll. No. Roll a bowl, a bowl, a penny, a pitch. Right, if you're betting on this, I um, know there must be a big betting in Asia. Will Nick do it or not? Then keep the faith. Keep the faith. There's betting going on all over the internet now. Will Nick do this? Um, 100 to 1, some people are quoting. It will get up there. The general consensus is I won't be able to do it. Now, some people are saying the review's going to end soon, but little they have little faith. Yes, there we go, in your face. Easy, wasn't it? I did that easy. But is it the right way to go? We're in some sort of a guttering, maybe at your house. Oh no, we're back here again, but the other side. Well, I, I guess we're back here again, unless it's an identical place. And there's a lift going up and down. Well, we've gone round in a big circle, I think. Yeah. Well, there's not much more I can say about that. I can't go that way. Down here, right. It'd be nice if it told you what percentage of the map you'd explored, but I don't think it does that. You've got infinite... Oh, this we've seen this before. You've got infinite lives until that time runs out. So, goes won't be quick, they'll be long, which I suppose gives you t um, time to get used to the control system and so forth. I think we've used almost, well, we've used about 40% of our time here. Bow bow. Uh, have we been here before? I'm getting confused. Barnaby, where is he? He should make himself a bit more known. Maybe we should keep in contact with walkie-talkies or phones or some or some mo other modern technology. Let's go this way. Don't think we've been this way before, have we? Yes, we have. We have been this way, Nicky. We all know we've been this way. Um. Yeah, the ball-bearing brothers. I uh, don't think they're going to get rescued this time. Oh look, splat. That's going up pretty quickly here. It's the ball bearing crushers. That's that, right. <laughs> I did that and I went back in error. Stop messing about. As Kenneth Williams would often say. Can I get round the corner? I want to get round the corner somehow. I think that's risking it a bit too much. I don't think that's possible. It isn't. I've been splattered again. 
No, that's it. You can only go straight either way. There's no time to turn a corner here. No inertia. Yeah. Damn it. I need a I need a hard hat or something. Let's go back this way. Well back to this town. Beep, 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 beep. Yes, this is very wavy. Oh, I'm back home again. Yeah. Back home. But I've rescued none of the bros. None of the brothers have been rescued. What? Oh, this looks tricky. So we've got a yellow box that's guiding us downwards. Oh, we seem to be dead. Right, that's not the way to do it. Yeah, so you need you need to avoid that that brick straight away. What's the way of doing that? Maybe going down and pushing the other way. It won't let me. No, it won't let me go the other way. And now I've been splattered on the furniture again. Time is ticking down. What we're on? We're at three thousand eight hundred now. And we're losing lots of time. Hmm. Okay. Let's go this way. Ah. Uh, that's flashing on and off. Oops, that's triggered that man. That's an evil ball bearing. Can I knock that out of the way? No. Well, I got past him anyway. One way out. Hmm. Oh, look at that. How do we get to the left there? Or the... Can we go left over this? Well, that was fairly easy, that bit. Into another bit of guttering, red guttering, purple guttering, blue guttering. We've seen all the ranges of guttering here. More blue guttering. Oh, what's this place? Can I get down there? No. Don't know what this place is. Some sort of garbage chute. Hmm. Right, that was a bit of a dead end, wasn't it? Let's go this way. Where are the bull bearing brothers? They're very elusive in here. Uh, we're miles away from home now. Oh man, that's madness. Well, I think we'll leave it there. We've seen quite a variety of different screens, though this one is a bit chaotic. Um, I quite like this game. I prefer Spin Dizzy, but I like this as well. Um, that was Bobby Bearing, published by The Edge in 1986 on the ZX Spectrum 48K, of course. If you've got any comments about this game, then please put them below. I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching that one, as always. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.